Oh! Three pointer, Kentucky! Oh, I know. Scrub my team. Welcome back, first hike of 2021. So I am at the beautiful Land Between the Lakes Recreation Center. Recreation Center. Guess who's with me? I got the crew, Mr. Backpacking with Jason. I got Jeremiah Stringer. What's up? The rising star of YouTube right now. Oh, he's on fire, he's on fire. <laughs> So, and then I've also got Mr. Hunter Trips. This will be my first trip with him. Dude's a beast. Actually, really <laughs> excited to get to hike with this guy. So we've actually got a few more guests coming. I'll, uh, I'll actually be sure to introduce them to you when they show up. But we're gonna do a point-to-point -point hike. So right now we're at the Sugar Bay campsite. Uh, we're gonna leave a couple of cars here and then head over to the North Welcome Center and then just do about a, roughly about a 20 mile hike. So super excited to see the, the recreation center. I've never been over this way, but I can tell you right now, the lake is absolutely gorgeous. These are those hammock suspension. These are buckle hammock suspension. Yeah, it weighs uh, two ounces. Nice. Better Look at these guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is insane. Cinnamon rose. Look at that. Oh, they're this, done, man. Look this is better biscuit. than a continental breakfast. <laughs> Look at the biscuit. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> no burnt biscuit. <laughs> Anybody bring any salt for my eggs? So we're now at the North Welcome Center. We left a couple of cars at Sugar Bay, and then we uh, basically jockeyed around. So that way, well, it's a point-to-point -point hike. We'll have a, a transportation back to our vehicles. But the rest of our party did show up. We've got Restless, we've got Timmy, and we've got David over there, and then also Lance and uh, a friend of his, Jonathan. So we're all gonna be hitting the trail. It's been a while for the, oh, looky there, it's the pups. We're all excited to hit the trail. It's been a while for some of us, so let's get rolling. Yeah, he's a funny guy, man. He uh, ended up, uh, Trail? Yeah. Okay. I'm still oh, like, you're I'm like, staying on your breath. Yeah. This is not the oh, man, right on my I think one of the trails that my view ranger went to is an old trail. <laughs> it's not maintained. It's full of thorns. Restless is getting ate by plants. I mean it's 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 dangerous. Kentucky, you're a very dangerous state to hike in. So we met back up with the group. He's so cute. I, uh, I went with Restless. <laughs> I hollered, go my way, go my way. I felt responsible. <laughs> <laughs> we took the scenic route. It, it had to been on my view ranger, like an old connector trail, but it was it was a bit it was a bit thorny. I just got a rock in there. my camera. But we're obviously back on the trail now. At this point, we'll probably let ba uh, Bailey lead. Such a cool area. This trail running right across or right along the lake. And I mean just any any spot along the lake, 
almost always has like some type of road trail to it or or something so even if you want to take your family and get them started in the outdoors it's not like you have to hike a bunch of miles go load up a car load up a cooler have a long weekend drive to some of these most incredible spots so we're like five miles in still got a couple miles to go which is a little more than what we intended uh, looked like there was a reroute that added a bit of miles so that last bay we were supposed to kind of follow around the lake shore instead it had us go to the top of that point and kind of walk around and then then we came back down and met back up with the original trail on the map uh, so I don't know if it was a reroute or a old map or or what but uh, so we still got a couple miles to go which isn't too bad I mean we still got plenty of time I'll tell you so this pack I think it's rated for like right around 18 pounds uh, somewhere around there uh, right now I got 28 pounds on it because I'm actually, uh, you know, real food, batteries, all that fun stuff. Probably have about 10 pounds of meat. So luckily it's temporary, but I've, I've actually carried 22 pounds in this thing before and managed the, the extra six pounds that I've, that I've carried before this, this 28 pounds it definitely is wearing on my shoulders. My favorite things to walk on, dead pine needles. All right, so we're at camp right now. We're just past the bridge. Um, we just kind of picked this spot and decided to set up. So uh, literally right on the lake, super cool. Then you see Bumblebee there. I did bring the winter cover for Bumblebee, so that'll, that'll help it give me a few extra degrees. And then it looks like everybody else is getting set up too. Look at that spot. How about that? Nice. What is this, Mr. Hunter? Oh, how's it going, man? You're seeing it happen live. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Dyneema Palace. So you got DCF here, 0.3. So it's a very, very thin DCF and it rides up the top like a winter top cover. Sure. And then it's aligned with this um, very, very thin 0.5 Nocea mesh. Uh -huh. So you can vent all the heat out, have cover from condensation, and then this is the lightest hammock material being used called monolite. So nice. All of this right here is still lighter than my tarp and bivy setup. That's crazy. <laughs> that yeah. is crazy. crazy yeah. Nice. Do you know the weight of it? The Off weight of that. So this is 7.8 ounces. Okay. And that's the hammock. And then this is 12 ounces for the under quilt. And the top quilt's a little bit heavier because it's a winter version. And sure. It's 24 ounces. Nice. Nice. And this is. 12 ounces for the tarp. Basically a piece of paper. Basically a giant piece of expensive paper. Yeah, yeah. Well, very nice, sir. Very nice. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to come check your setup. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mr. Jeremiah. What's up, man? How's your day? Bro, you all pass up the campsite, man. I, I think we picked a better one. Didn't we upgrade? I mean, I mean they're both good. Yeah. could you put a hammock on the beach in the other one? Yeah. Could you really? Yeah, for sure. Nice. This nice. is good. Well, but you, let, let's just say... This hammock can go anywhere. I mean, this yeah, thing's a beast. Man. Dude. The straps are so long that it don't really matter. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Miyagi, nice yeah. work, buddy. Nice work. I forgot my, I didn't bring a ridge line. Uh-huh. I those ones I showed you. Sure. And I forgot them at the other side. Oh, no. So I had to make a ridge line out of... Like, Just zing. extra zing it that you had? Yeah, dude. Look at that. Very tight. No, that's okay. Look at that. What he did, press it. Pressic knot and then uh, carabiner. Very, very good. Yeah, the other side I had a little S carabiner. I'll see if it holds. Yeah, that's that's slick, buddy. Yeah, I had to. Hey, you know what? You that's make what? it work. Yeah. You, you know? That's what it's about, man. Yeah, good. Yeah, nice. Good. good deal. Oh. What you doing? What's up, buddy? <laughs> How was your day? I had a blast. Was it nice? Yes. Awesome. My hike. Good deal. Got good deal. Some beautiful scenery of the lake. Dude, look at. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna put you right in front of Jason what he's gonna see when he wakes up in the morning. Yes. That's it. This is gonna be my coffee moment. Oh, dude. 
Yeah. Seeing the sun, seeing the, well, when we start hiking, it still might be dark. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is going to be nice, man. Dude, this is beautiful. Yeah, that little water is going to be peaceful. <laughs> yes, it is. Right there day was a little longer than we anticipated I'm pretty sure that they rerouted one of the trails uh, even David was talking when he hiked the trail several years ago it more followed the the lake more and it, this one seemed to cut back in so I think it maybe added a few miles but um, but other than that this is an amazing campsite so right at Pisgah Bay so just absolutely beautiful now actually you'll, you'll see uh, them uh, dragging nets around over there they're actually fighting the Asian carp in this lake so unfortunately uh, the Asian carp is running amok here at this lake and just causing a lot of damage uh, in fact I mean you can't ski on this lake you can't hard, I don't even know if you can use a uh, kayak but uh, I mean, the, if you don't know anything about Asian carp they get scared they jump out of the water so if you're skiing and can you imagine getting smacked in the face at about 30 mile an hour with a about a three or four pound car probably wouldn't feel good. good there. But anyway, so we're all set up. We're going to be getting a fire going here pretty soon. Uh, and then on to the chili dogs. You don't know what you're missing. Pour it out to Dan here in 15 minutes when everybody goes to bed. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good night, guys. All right. See you in the morning. Hey, yep. Oh. Time to get up. Cold outside, warm in here. Makes it a little tough to get up, but it's time. All right, day two, we're gonna be starting back out on the north-south trail heading southbound. Uh, we're gonna hit Sugar Bay campsite where we actually left the cars on the uh, first day. Uh, and then we're excited to get back there. We got some wood stashed, we're gonna have a big fire. Should be another good night. Everybody's getting packed up. Should be uh, on the trail here shortly. All right, Timmy, how was your night? It's good. Sleep good? Slept good, awesome. kept me warm. It was a little cold, but it was fine. Uh, can't complain and we're off to our next destination. Awesome, awesome. How about you, David? Did you sleep good? I did sleep well. Yeah, the a little two little brisk, <laughs> yeah, a little brisk, but uh, we stayed warm. Awesome. The little heaters help out. <laughs> they did help a little bit. They were snuggling up to me. So. Oh, that's awesome. So it's gonna awesome. be a beautiful day. Yes, very Maybe excited. Sun shining. It's it's off to a good start. All right, restless. This is been amazing uh, amazing time so far so yeah no it's great awesome it's great a little chilly this morning but you know what we survived it and I don't know day two well, <laughs> what, will what will it bring what will it bring it's crazy man <laughs> awesome well good to have you buddy all right let's head down this way see who we got down here packing up mr. Jonathan what's going on buddy so how was your night uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I probably probably should have packed a little bit warmer sleeping bag other than that. Oh, did you make it through okay? Oh yeah. All right, awesome, right awesome. Right when I hit the 20s is when it's like it was about four o'clock. Make or break, right? Yeah. This is yeah. awesome. Hey, uh, so I heard you do something with taking kids backpacking. Yeah. So yeah. can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. So it's a nonprofit organization. It's youth outdoor recreation. Uh, it's called Trailblazing Hope Outdoors, uh -huh. and the whole goal is just to get people outside, young people outside, middle school and high schoolers just to unplug from technology, connect with each other, themselves, and nature. Uh, and we're excited. We got a, a second program coming up here in February, and uh, we got a lot of great, uh, excite, exciting adventure experiences lined up for them. Very cool, very cool. About how many kids do you take out at a time, roughly? So our goal is to do 40 each outdoor adventure wow. program. Uh, 20 
uh, a session. So we do two sessions a week, four weeks straight. Uh, that's our education portion. There mm -hmm. is hiking involved with it. Yeah. So that's just to prepare them for the adventure experiences, which are gonna be uh, anywhere from orienteering, kayaking, uh, mountain biking, rock climbing, rappelling, or challenge courses. So we're just trying to get kids outside. That's awesome, yeah. man. And what was the name of the organization? Trailblazing Hope Outdoors. Very cool, yeah. very cool. I'll see if I can get a link and I'll put it in the description yeah, be below. Great. So awesome. Hey, thanks, thanks dude. Definitely. Looks like I'm sending my kids to summer camp. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing good. How was your night? Good. I've had a little cold on my backside a couple of times. Yeah. But, man, it got cold last night. It was in the low 20s. Dude. Wind chill of 18. Yeah, that's a little chilly. By the time I checked it about seven this morning, I was like, it's cold. I, like, I gotta see what time it is. I don't know what the temp is. It's that's, cold. Yeah. Well, you had one of the best views waking up. How was it? <laughs> I had my coffee, sitting there making my coffee, looking at scenery. Last night, it was beautiful. I had awesome. to get up and pee. I just looked at the night skies. It was beautiful. Bright stars. Bright stars. I don't know if we'll have it tonight. Yeah. Bright stars. But yeah. We got another day in the woods. That's right, that's right. We got good company if we don't have stars. Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> and one of my kids' favorite YouTubers, Mr. <laughs> Jeremiah Stringer. <laughs> What's up? How'd you sleep in uh, the Pride of Kentucky? Fantastic, man. It's Zero it, degree underquilt. Yeah. And the 10 degree top quilt. Is it UGQ? The underquilt was. The oh. top quilt was hammock gear. Uh huh. Yeah. Awesome. It was good. Awesome. Took my puffy, zipped it up, and stuck my foot box in it. I actually have a UGQ underquilt on order yeah did i make a good decision <laughs> i think so i got the 950 zero degree nice yeah nice. it'll keep you warm good deal man good deal yeah. all right hey oh anybody want to guess what i'm getting ready to go do uh i already uh, know what you're going to do constitutional yeah you with me <laughs> <laughs> you want to use my poop hand me <laughs> no i don't want to use the poop hand me check it out it's the newest brightest what imaginatory i'm saying all the words wrong it's early in the morning newest thing coming out poop pan it's called a port of ruby jeremiah's going to be demonstrating it here shortly what <laughs> a poop hammock <laughs> yeah i'll tell you how it goes but it's not a play-by-play -play. you don't have your wag bag <laughs> i didn't bring a wag for this one i tell you what i got <laughs> crazy thing he's not lying about the poop hammock so and that will be one piece of gear i will not be diying so i'm pretty sure i'm good on that but, but very interesting so could be the newest craze what's up hunter trying to get broke down everybody's beating me right now oh don't worry don't worry i'm sure you hiked fast enough to catch us all if you had to so yeah. how'd you sleep last night i slept great uh my under quilt needed a little adjustment but i i have no complaints you know yeah as long as i can not have to wake up in the middle of the night then i'm good i don't have to get out and adjust the tarp or anything so i'd say eight out of ten for my night nice nice but tonight's gonna be warmer so hopefully we can get a 10 out of 10. so uh mr uh mr hunter here he uh he hikes pretty light he's got a lot of dyneema There's so dyneema right here. yeah that's right you're an ambassador to a couple different companies right a few different i got a sandal company a backpacking company and then my friend's company oh well, our friends you probably know brad mr miyagi yeah he makes yeah. me some gear too and i'm a faux ambassador of trail craft it's like a love a little craft company that just kind of came from people who want to make the lightest of light stuff and if it breaks it breaks you just make another one nice nice yeah. awesome yeah miyagi's one person i haven't hiked with but i hope to buddy hey miyagi calling you out bud let's hit the trail sometime lance Hello, buddy. how's it going man good, are you happy to be in the woods i am so happy <laughs> it's, it's been a good trip so far right it's been an excellent trip I mean, awesome couldn't have done better planning i mean oh, oh best weather i mean dude it's very very blessed that's very that's blessed it. yeah for january it could have been anything that's but, right uh, that's yeah, right it's been awesome how'd you sleep great i was i mean i was warm good it wasn't, it wasn't bad wasn't bad i didn't have to i didn't toss or turn or i think i just passed out <laughs> yeah yeah see i'm like a rotisserie in the hammock i'm always tossing and turning so yeah. but but i stayed pretty warm man yeah. i i kind of wish i had a full length underquilt instead yeah. of the three quarters my feet were getting a little cold yeah but, I just kind of did a fetal position and I slept. Down. So do you put like a pad in your foot box or anything? No, I, I take this off, my puffy, uh -huh. and, I, and I pull the sleeve, I invert the sleeves, and I zip that around the end. Oh, nice. It creates a little cocoon around the Nice. End. It works pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's a shug trick I, I stole. Oh, there you go. 
call it shout out to Shug, man. Yeah, man. So he probably taught us all how to hammock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so. I think he's taught everyone how to hammock. Yeah, yeah. But awesome. Yeah. Awesome, dude. We'll get on the trail. We'll see you soon. Yeah, buddy. Just a great group of guys, man. I, I am actually having a blast. Um, I mean, just everybody's having a good time. It's, I think we're all just appreciative for 2021 to be in a woods. When you get out here, there's a lot of different fire roads to drive and that's the, a big attraction to this place. A lot of people do a lot of overlanding. and So I, I in my research, I always found out that uh, there's a big difference between the 100 roads and 300 roads. 300, I guess, is a, maybe a little more advanced vehicle as needed. Well, this would be a 300 road. And it gets, there's spots like this all over the place. They're deep rutted with mud. There's usually a bypass that may go around it, but some of these bypasses actually look just as bad. So I could, I could see how it could definitely be a little challenging uh, for a vehicle to get up and out of there. But we get up here, it looks like the trail branches off to the right. And we're back in the woods. Super pleasant trail. It's not been very difficult. In fact, by the, by the lake, a lot of it was like a parking lot. It's completely flat. Jaden and I were both whipped, and I seriously thought about camping right up next to that bridge. Oh, was that but on your was... long day? Yeah. Yeah, we were still hiking on day number one, and for quite a ways past this, <laughs> but there was no water anywhere in any of these streams. But this would have been like an ideal spot to camp, but we had no water. Right here, and then the corn. Uh-huh. And then, but right up around this bridge, there was like an open spot. Like, man, I could camp here if we had some water. Somehow, looks like we just popped back into Indiana. Yeah. All these cornfields that are everywhere. How's your morning walk, Tim? So far, so good. Not bad, huh? Pretty it's easy warmed walking. Up, warmed up pretty nice. Yeah. Nice bridge. Yeah, they do have they put some nice bridges in, and then some of them, like that other one, was really sketchy. The, the trampoline the bridge. Yeah. So in case you're wondering what Jeremiah Stringer does in the back country. Oh! Three-pointer Kentucky! Oh, I know. We're up by 10, baby! So we all made it to camp. We're uh, we're all chilling here at the uh, Sugar Bay campsite tonight, and then we're all leaving in the morning. But just an absolutely great trip. So much fun with all these guys. Just a great group. Um, tell you what, uh, 11 miles today. A little sore. Haven't done that many miles for a while. But, uh, but it was very enjoyable. Just a beautiful spot. Lots of opportunity, whether you want to be in your car and car camp or hike. It's a great place to come. But... Outside of that, we're going to enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs> Jeremiah's going to enjoy the game, and we're out. Till next time.